We're all accustomed to seeing our favorite stars doing some pretty incredible, brave, and action-packed moves on the screen. Most of the big names have been in at least some action or adventure offerings, and they usually look pretty badass doing it. But it's a whole other thing when these stars are involved in real-life emergency situations. Then they don't have the magic of CGI, scripts, and choreography to help them out. They're just as susceptible to accidents as anyone. In this video, we're taking a look at a few Hollywood stars who have been in plane crashes and lived to tell the tale. Join Factsverse as we present Celebrities Who Survived Plane Crashes. Jennifer Lawrence Jennifer Lawrence may have been through all kinds of harrowing ordeals on screen, but those have all come thanks to the effects of movie magic. In real life, Lawrence's life is much more chill, and it involves the glitz and glamour that a Hollywood A-lister is usually afforded. However, an episode in 2017 made for a very movie-like event. Jennifer shared the story in 2021 with Vanity Fair and went into detail about her 2017 brush with death on an airplane. She was flying on a private plane from New York City to Louisville. Things were pretty routine until there was suddenly a loud sound. That was followed by a change in air pressure. Lawrence said she could sense something was wrong. One of the other passengers went to the cockpit and asked the pilot about it. The pilot informed them that one of the engines had gone out, but the passenger was assured that the plane was still perfectly safe and they could land with only one engine running. That was all well and good until the other engine went too. At that point, it was pure panic mode. Lawrence said she started calling and leaving voicemails for her loved ones, thinking she was about to die. She said she told them she'd had a good life and she was sorry to be leaving them so early. And she remarked that her skeleton, quote, was all that was left in the seat at that moment. Amazingly, the pilot did an incredible and heroic job that day and managed to land the plane in Buffalo. The plane did a hard landing, and despite the danger, no one aboard was even injured. The next issue was that Jennifer needed to get aboard a new plane to get to Louisville. She gritted her teeth and got aboard. That flight went off without a hitch. When asked if she subscribes to the idea that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, Lawrence says she doesn't. She claimed the ordeal made her, in fact, weaker. She also pointed out that she has to constantly fly for her line of work, and she still hates it to this day. Patrick Swayze Patrick Swayze was one of the biggest movie heartthrobs in the 1980s and 90s when he charmed us in movies like Ghost and Dirty Dancing. And while we all know that his life was cut tragically short by cancer, it was nearly cut even shorter by a plane crash. It happened in 2000 on a flight from Van Nuys, California to Las Vegas. What makes his story different from most is he was actually flying the plane. Patrick was an FAA-licensed pilot who had his instrument rating, so that meant he was very much capable of flying his Cessna airplane. On June 1st, he was in the middle of his flight when he heard a loud sound. The plane was at 13,000 feet, so he knew he potentially had trouble on his hands. His dog started barking from the back of the plane, giving Swayze an indicator that he had lost cabin pressure. He knew he had to immediately lower the plane and find somewhere to land it. He was able to glide it down, but there was no airport in his direct area. He actually thought he saw one, so he aimed for it. But it was only as he made his final approach that he realized it was just a housing development in Prescott Valley, Arizona that happened to look like a small airport from a couple thousand feet up. But by that point, Swayze had no choice. He set the plane down in the streets and knocked down a stop sign and some streetlights as the plane ran through a local intersection. But thankfully, it was a safe landing and there were no injuries. Swayze later talked to CNN about the incident, saying he had no recollection of hitting anything on the ground because he was so focused on putting the plane down safely. There was, however, a bit of scandal after the accident. According to news reports, several people helped Swayze remove alcohol from the plane after the landing so it wouldn't look like he'd been drinking. They then helped him drive to a nearby hotel. Swayze, through a representative, denied that there was ever booze on board. Harrison Ford One of Harrison Ford's most legendary movies is Air Force One, where he plays the President of the United States and has to stop hijackers who have taken over his plane. So most people have literally seen Ford in a dodgy situation aboard a plane. However, that was all fiction. In real life, though, Ford has been involved in multiple events involving his own planes. One of the most notable happened in 2015. Ford, who has his pilot's license and flies frequently, was aboard a WW2 training plane. Things went awry and the plane went down in Venice, California, only a few minutes after taking off from Santa Monica Airport. 
Ford's plane reportedly had engine trouble upon takeoff, forcing it back down to the ground very quickly. Later, the NTSB said a carburetor part suffered a mechanical failure, leading to engine failure. The plane came down on a golf course with, quote, medium to high impact. Harrison suffered some minor injuries, though they were severe enough that he was taken to a local hospital. At the time, his son tweeted that his dad was okay, despite being a bit battered. His son later talked to the New York Times about the incident and reassured readers that his dad is as tough as fans think and that he's incredibly strong. Amazingly, Ford has dodged this type of bullet other times in his life. In 1999, he was in training for flying a helicopter when it had to make an emergency landing. The copter touched down in Santa Clarita, California before tipping over. Harrison emerged unscathed. Then, in 2000, he was on a runway in Lincoln, Nebraska, when a strong wind forced his plane off the runway. And in 2017, he almost flew his small plane into the path of a 747. Looks like Ford has made a habit of not only being in action sequences in the movies, but also in real life. Sandra Bullock Sandra Bullock is one of Hollywood's most cherished actresses, and she first gained fame by surviving the harrowing events of the runaway bus in the movie Speed. But her action exploits haven't only been in the movies. In 2000, she was in a minor crash in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. She was traveling there with her then-boyfriend Bob Schneider for a brief vacation. The flight itself went fine, but the landing had some issues. Apparently, after the plane touched down on the runway, it skidded off. The pilot had reportedly mistaken one of the runway lights because of the hazardous flying conditions. But he managed to control the skid enough that no one on board was hurt but it was certainly a scary way to touch down for Sandra and Bob and anyone else on board. Sandra also revealed that she had another incident involving a plane later on, although it was decidedly a non-flying one. She had just finished the movie Hope Floats and was flying around the country for press and publicity. She and her co-star, Harry Connick Jr., were all set to board a private plane for one of the legs of the trip. As she was about to get on board, she realized she needed to grab something from her bag, which was still on the tarmac waiting to be put in. As she turned, she didn't realize she was so close to the wing of the plane. She smashed into it face first, sending her glasses flying off. She told Entertainment Weekly that all she remembers is a flash of light upon impact. Unfortunately, either the wing itself or her glasses ended up giving her a pretty nasty cut over her eye. Bullock said there was blood rushing everywhere, and she had to get immediate medical attention. She ended up getting a black eye as well, and had to cancel her press events because of it. Clearly, these celebs were lucky to have survived these harrowing incidents. It's amazing to consider the fact that we nearly lost these cherished stars well before their times. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been involved in a scary incident on an aircraft? Let us know in the comments section below.